Welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to go over something that I think is pretty neat. These cars when they first come out, I mean they weren't much better than a pickup truck, they just had a little bit more straight line speed. But they have really evolved and they've really come a long, long ways. So today I would like to make the five reasons this car is a race car. Because to me, it's very important that a modern day vehicle have multiple personalities. And this car isn't just on paper good, but there is subtle influences throughout this car that make it feel like you own a race car. Whether you, it is or not, it really doesn't matter. And most of the models have most of the features that make it feel like a race car. Unfortunately, they do not all have these features, but this car does. And most all of the 2SSs do and the 1SSs and all that good stuff. So number one, before we fire this car up, is the flat bottom steering wheel. For those of you who have been following cars for the last couple of decades, you will be well aware that flat bottom steering wheels used to be strictly race car. Only the last probably five years have they made their way into modern production automobiles to give it more of a race car feel. Now, whether or not it is any better, whether or not it makes any more knee room, leg room, whatever is here nor there, it makes the car feel like a race car. It doesn't matter if you've got cruise set cruising down the highway or you're in manual mode busting some back... Uh, back windy roads this car really does feel like a race car every time you look down and you see that wheel it feels special number two i'll start this thing up let it put me back into my uh preferred cockpit position so number two and probably no surprise is the modes here every car is a touring car all right give me sport mode because sometimes when you're on the street, sport just isn't enough, or touring just isn't enough, you want sport mode. But then there's track mode. Seeing track mode, saying track mode. This is not sports plus, this is not sport plus plus, this is not sport plus minus traction control. This is track mode with traction control on. Doesn't matter, you have track mode. It says TR in the bottom corner of the screen. It doesn't matter how you're driving the car. When you're cruising down the road and you see track mode on, game over. It's track mode. And that visually just feels pretty spectacular. The next thing, and I might do a few things here because there is, uh, we're going to performance mode. So number three is gonna be a combination. Number three is going to be the performance gauges. G-force laterally, G-force in all directions. You have zero to 60 kilometer an hour, which would be zero to 60 miles per hour in the US. We have lap timer, we have oil pressure, or sorry, we have oil temperature, oil pressure, and transmission fluid temperature. And then we're back to the G-force, which feels pretty freaking awesome as well as heads-up display as you can tell I have it set up in kind of the race mode and that to me that's like old-school race car late 90s early 2000s every one of their digital rev meters built into their gauge cluster looked like that well that's what mine looks like now even though it's just the digital one which is pretty awesome and then to finish up point number three which is all of the instrumentation you click traction control off you click it again competition mode competition mode because having a track side of your car and a track personality with track features and track feeling ambiance of gauges and a steering wheel isn't enough you have competition mode because ain't nothing gonna beat this damn car which is completely untrue because there's a lot of cars that are faster. But in my mind, ain't nothing going to beat me when I'm in competition mode because this car has competition mode. Freaking awesome. So we are going to go outside for the next two. We have two remaining items and I will catch up with you guys on the outside. Welcome back. No surprise for number four, we are under the hood. As I'm sure you're thinking, 
that massive crank pulley down there. Everything about this engine must be number four, but it really isn't. This is more about feeling like a race car. Does it have a big V8? It absolutely does. But this right here is what makes it for me. Every time I pop this hood, I see that crisp, clean bow tie Chevy performance. And you wouldn't believe how many GM guys or racing fans have wanted to steal that little emblem. Why? Because it's awesome. And the last one, number five. We're not gonna see it on this wheel. We're not gonna see it on that wheel. I'm gonna find you a wheel you can see. But on our way past, that, oh my God. Nope. This is just hating on me. All right, here we go. This is gonna be it. Brembo, you see the Brembo and the brakes there. Just seeing Brembo brakes makes me feel like I'm driving a race car. Because once upon a time, that's what it came with. You had to have a race car. You had to spend five, six, seven, eight thousand dollars to upgrade to a Brembo brake kit. But they come on the cars now and they stop as well as you would expect. And as I described to everybody, the brakes are so good they will try to throw you out of the window, which they most certainly will. So guys, I hope you enjoyed my top five things that make the new Camaro SS a race car. I will be doing all of, to me, the personalities of the car and why I think it is very good at everything it does. But this is the race spec and the race features that to me say race car. Take care guys.